Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an on screen countdown timer real quickly and easily. Don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So, the whole idea of having an on screen countdown timer all revolves around having some UI on the screen. So, just make sure that you do have some text set as the countdown timer itself. Uh, I'm just quickly going to add a little bit of uh, variation to this and put it in the top left corner. So I'm going to double click it and then basically just increase the size of it. So I'll put it as 50 so we can see it a little bit better. But it'll show in our top left corner. So this is all done via a C-sharp script. So create a new C-sharp script, and you can call this anything you want, really, but let's call it something relevant. Timer countdown. And then let's open that up in Visual Studio. So we're going to need just a couple of variables here. We have to remember that the main variable is going to be the actual object that will display the text itself. In this case, that text right there. So we're going to need that game object as a variable. We're going to also need a bool as a variable because we need to detect whether we're currently decreasing the timer or not. So for now, I'm going to get rid of void star and void update because we don't necessarily need them right now. So we'll start from scratch within the public class. So let's go public game object. And we'll have this as text display semicolon and because we're going to use some UI elements we should add in at the top in the namespace using unity engine dot UI semicolon now we're not gonna have this text display updating every single frame because we only need it to update every time we change the uh, specific number in there so I'm gonna also have public int and we'll call it seconds left and by default we'll have that equals 30 for now. The next one is going to be public bool and we'll have this as taking away semicolon. In fact by default we'll have that as false just so we can trigger the um, actual taking away bit. So before we do anything uh, to activate this timer in general, we're going to write the coroutine. We use a coroutine because we're going to have to detect an actual second within the script. So we reduce this every second rather than, let's say, every whatever minute or whatever. So I enumerator, and let's call this anything at all. Let's say um, timer take. Oh, close bracket, open curly bracket. And in here, we first need to say taking away equals true because we're taking some time away. We're then going to wait for that one second. So yield, return, new, wait for seconds and in brackets one because we're going to wait for one second to take away from those 30 seconds. Semicolon. At that point, we'll say seconds left minus equals one, because we're going to take one away from that 30, which would now make that 29. So this means at this point, we need to say that the game object of text display, so text display dot get component, and in spiky brackets, text, open close bracket dot text is equal and I'm going to display this as an actual uh, time. So we'll say uh, in quotes zero zero and then a colon and then close that quote and then plus and then seconds left semicolon. So you can see what's going on here. We're running through this coroutine and we're saying taking away is true. So we're activating it. We're waiting for a second, reducing the time, and then displaying that new time. At which point we can then say taking away equals false because we finish taking away from that. So we're going to put the start method back in. So void start 
Open a close bracket. And a close bracket, it doesn't need to be, let's just realign that. It doesn't need to be private. And we're going to take this line of code and just place it in the start method. Just so the first thing it does is do that. Next, we're going to bring the update method back. We should have really deleted them, but it doesn't really matter too much. It doesn't need to be private again. Update. And what we're going to say is if, and in brackets, we'll say uh, taking away is equal to false and so the two ampersand signs there seconds left is greater or equal to zero so in fact this that's not going to work is it because we need to make sure i'm just trying to think about this correctly we need to make sure that when we get to zero it stops so we only run this if uh, it's greater than zero. And open curly bracket. So we're basically we're saying if taking away is not running and we still have more than zero seconds, then we will start coroutine and in brackets the name of that coroutine we've just created. In this case, timer take. Open close bracket, close bracket, semicolon. And I am now going to save that script. So there is one extra little thing that we're going to deal with uh, in just a moment, but let's make sure this script works as intended right now. So let's head back into Unity, and then we're going to have to attach this script to uh, a game object. I'm just going to create an empty game object for now. So drag and drop onto there, and then just assign the text into the text display right there, and then press play. And we should see our countdown timer in the top left Counting down, oh, there we go, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. So I'm going to let this count down and you'll see what we're going to have to fix next. And it's actually a real easy fix. We should see it in a couple of seconds. Hopefully you guys may have already spotted what it would be. There we go. So this would normally display as 06 or 0504, not just 4 or five or six. We get to zero and the timer stops. So now we just have to add in a quick if statement to add an extra zero if it's less than 10. So let's copy that line of code again. And then before it, we will say if, and we'll say seconds left is less than 10, then do the following. Paste that line of code, and then here, just place that extra zero. Then after the close curly bracket, we'll do an else. Open curly bracket, and then place the close curly bracket after that. So what this is saying now is taking away is true. So we're starting, and then we're taking away a second, or rather waiting a second, and then we're taking that second away from the number. We're then determining if that number is one digit or two digits by saying, is it less than 10 or not? If it is less than 10, then put that extra zero in the text. If it isn't less than 10, don't put that extra zero. Save the script. Head back to Unity. Just let it compile down here. Almost done. And then let's press play. And we should be able to see this counting down as intended. Fingers crossed anyway. Okay, so I, I know it's going to do it, so I'll just finish off this uh, tutorial right here. So guys, that is how you can do a nice, quick, easy countdown timer in your game. It's, it's real, real simple. I mean, there are different ways of doing it. This is just one of the quick and easy ways. Uh, so guys, hope that's helped. And yeah, I will see you around in the next tutorial. As soon as that gets to zero, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, guys.